are you a woman? <laughs> I'm like, no? Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name's Step Space. You can welcome back to my channel. Again, sorry for the appearance. I know I'm not in uniform, but, uh, well, it's been one heck of a weekend. So, like I mentioned, uh, on Friday, I was going to have a bit of a busy weekend on account of, you know, Father's Day and everything. And we got our shots, our second shot, on Friday. <laughs> Heck of a bruise right there, man. But, um, yeah, I don't have any content today because, well, numerous reasons. One being that I was dead Saturday, so I could not record anything. Like, I didn't get out of bed but, like, three times. I think I... I was up for a grand total of like 10 minutes all day. <laughs> and two, that I, um, well, yesterday was Father's Day and we were out and about and I started to feel woozy again, so, <clears throat> excuse me, and I started to feel woozy again, so I came home and after we did everything, we, uh, yeah, that was it for me. I was like, I'm done. <laughs> no more. And, uh, so I went to bed instead of, uh, instead of recording anything, and uh, I was like, I'll just record in the morning, it'll be fine, it'll be fine, but then, well, kiddo's gonna be home all day, so I don't have any time to record or edit or anything, so this is me in the morning before she's awake recording this. So I figured, what the heck, let's do something for y'all. So I figured, hey, Maybe people be interested in knowing what happened with the shot. And it's not going to be a whole lot to talk about. It was a fairly short, uh, fairly short little uh, experience, as it were. We went in um, the Hampton Roads Convention Center, actually out here in Virginia, um, was doing a uh, basically a free for all. Come, come as you are, as it were. He didn't need a uh, didn't need an appointment or anything. The first time they did it in the big convention hall, which is if you've ever been to Hampton, it looks like a giant diamond <laughs> just stuck in the ground. And uh, we went there. We parked literally the furthest away you could because I thought it was in the convention hall rather than the, the actual center. And uh, it wasn't. <clears throat> so we had to walk about a mile to get to where we were supposed to be. Granted, there was nobody there. I could have literally gone back to the car, driven to the parking lot that I needed, and been fine. But no, no. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm stubborn like that. We already started walking. We're going to keep going. But anyway, so um, we walked in there, and we walked in the back door. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> now, I didn't know it was the back door at first, because, you know, we walked in. We passed this thing that said, like official selfie spot so people could take their selfies and whatnot and uh i'm like that's pretty funny i don't know why they have that at the entrance though and uh we walked up and then we walked to the front desk and the lady's looking at me it took me a minute to register that she was looking at me kind of weird but i tried to do a joke because i walked in and i'm like <sighs> panting like i'm dying you know and then i realized while i'm like mid pant i'm like oh we're not supposed to be here are we because the way she was looking at me was like, what the heck are you doing? And so I straightened up quick. And I'm like, so um, I think we walked in the back door. <laughs> and she's like, yeah. Yeah, I think you're supposed to be that way. I'm like, oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> and so we walked. We had to walk through the thing. Now, the funny part was, there was still nobody there. I think there was like one other person sitting in the waiting area after they got their shot. And when we walked into the other area... There was only the workers. There was nobody else getting shots there. And uh, so I'm like, ah, thank goodness. Ah, I was worried that there would be way too many people. Ah, but anyway, so we walked up to the uh, the nice lady at the uh, at the desk there, who was supposed to take all of her, all of our, all, all of her, who was supposed to take all of, who, who was supposed to take all of our information. And we you know, he was talking to her, and Lizzie was kind of cool. She got to use her own ID card for the first time ever. I mean, we got it for a purpose. We used it for that purpose, and then it's just been sitting in my wallet since then. 
Lizzie got to do her own. She got to, to talk to the lady and give all of her information. And I got to do all mine. So that was kind of cool. You know, Lizzie well, got to feel like a big girl now. <laughs> uh, but that was kind of neat. And um, little did I know, there's a part of that that's going to come up later. But we, uh, we went in there and we gave all of her information. And then we sat and we literally like went straight to, to get our shots. Like, here's our information. Go get a shot. So we sat down. Um, I was on, I was on like like my uh, make everyone happy sort of phase, you know, because I'm talking to people and I'm smiling and and I'm I'm being engaging and trying to 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 kind of break through because I knew the lady who was giving me my shot must have been having a bad day. You could see it in her face. She was grumpy. To, to put it lightly. And I'm like, I'm going to make this lady feel good. And I did. <laughs> because while I'm sitting there getting my shot, and this is the first shot, by the way. And while I'm getting my shot, um, you know, she start, you can kind of see her livening up a little bit. And by the time I left, she was more talkative and more happy. I'm like, good, I changed somebody's day. And, uh, you know. <laughs> but... You know, went in there very easy. The first shot, it was like she stuck me and then pushed it in. Like, ow, hurts a little bit. Eh. But it didn't actually hurt too much. But it was just like a, it was, it was a shot. You know, you know what a shot feels, like, what, what a shot feels like. And so yeah, and uh, Lizzie got her shot. It was kind of funny. We were like sitting kind of catty quarter to each other. And we all got our shots, and then and then uh, you know we got to go back out. And there was the lady who I originally came in and saw, and I'm like, hi, I'm supposed to be here this time. And she's like, yep. <laughs> and so we sat down and we waited our 15 minutes. And uh, all was good. After that, like, for the next day, it was like, my shoulder kind of achy. But throughout the day, I felt heavy. It was really weird to say, especially for a man of my gut size. <laughs> I felt really heavy, um, like all my joints were just not moving like they were supposed to, and fatigued and whatnot. But apart from that, it, there was no real issue with the first shot. So go through that, and then we have to wait a couple more weeks. Like our first shot was on May twenty eighth, and our second shot was June eighteenth. So we had to wait a bit for the next shot. But anyway, so they told us straight away, they're like, okay, the next one's going to be actually in the convention hall rather than in the convention center. And we're I'm like, okay, cool. That'll be good. We can park where we parked before and get in and we won't have to walk a mile. Cut to however many weeks later, um, 20 days later, <laughs> this is actually the last day that they're going to be at the convention center. They're After that, they're no more. They're closing down. Which is kind of sad, because I kind of wish they would go all summer. But, you know, it's the convention center. They're going to be having events and stuff, so they can't be there all the time. But anyway, so apart from that, we show up on the 18th. We park in the exact same spot, literally, and the parking lot is empty, as before. When we go into, when we go towards the building, we notice there's another parking lot that's directly in front of the building. So we still could have parked closer. <laughs> I like to walk. Leave me alone. Hold on, kitty. But anyway, so we go in and there's a guy at the door and I'm, again, my most peppy, chippy, chirpy self, you know, trying to make people feel good and put them at ease and comfort and whatnot and so I go in there, and uh, the guy at the, the door, he's pretty happy. I'm like, hello, friend. He's like, oh, how are you doing today? I'm like, no, all right, here for the shot. And you're like, oh, you're here for your second one? I'm like, yeah. And uh, we got to do this thing. It's like a, um, uh, it, it's a monitor. It's got a human-shaped outline, like a generic human outline. And you have to stick your head in it, and it takes your temperature and then puts a check mark to say if you're good. And it was funny because... Lizzie and I were a little worried because it was really hot and we had to walk in, but, you know, we passed. Obviously, it, it, we didn't have a fever, but um, it was uh, it was a little worried because we were hot when we came in. But the good news is when we got in the building, um, when we got in the building, it was nice and cool. And it's like we've been there before for um, uh, Comic-Con, and so we kind of knew the place. 
and uh, we walk up to the next guy. He's sitting at the door, and uh, we show him our cards again. And he's like, all right, so follow the arrow there. So we follow the arrow there. There's another family in there. Uh, well, there's a couple of people in the waiting room, and then there's another family about to get shots. Um, and so we go in and go straight up to the door, the desk, and we hand our, our cards to the lady, and she's like, okay, well, um, do you want, ask Lizzie, do you want to go uh, tell this lady your information? And she's like, sure. And so I go over to this other lady, and so we're giving our information and whatnot. And um, it's kind of funny, this other lady, the, the lady I was talking to, notices a little bit of an inconsistency with my information put into the, the computer and my ID. She's like, huh, how do you spell your name? I'm like, uh, S-T-E-P-H-E-N. It's like, weird. <laughs> Are you sure it's not S-T-E-P-E-N? I'm like, yeah, there's an H in there. I'm not stepping. <laughs> Although, when I get to dancing, I can be stepping. Anyway. <laughs> uh, so, so like, okay, well, I just got to make sure this is you because you don't want to give the wrong person the wrong shot. And I'm like, I can understand that. And then as I sit down to get my shot, the lady with uh, Lizzie hollers over to me, do you give consent for your daughter to receive the COVID vaccine shot? And I'm like, yeah. She had to yell because we were across the room from each other, but it was funny. I'm like, yeah? Just to make sure you get the thumbs up. Which, you know, I, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not making fun of her for it. Mostly just the situation because, you know, as a parent, I have to give that sort of, you know, informed consent that, that she gets her medicine as she is prescribed and whatnot. But anyway, so we sit down and this time when the lady gives me the shot... I didn't even really feel it, which was kind of funny. It was like, really, like, there, you're done. I'm like, oh, cool. I didn't feel it that time. But lo and behold, I bled a lot, and I got this shiner of a bruise. That thing nasty. <laughs> I didn't feel it, though, which was the funniest part. And so we go back to, uh, uh, what was I going to say? We go back to, so then we go to the waiting room, and we sit down. I shoot a quick TikTok joke. So I wasn't sure I wanted to get the uh, the vaccine. Okay. I decided I'd give it a shot. I hate you. Then we're sitting there waiting for a bit, and they're like, "Oh, you got to wait 15 minutes." So we're like, "Okay, sitting there." And then the lady who came in and, and told me that my name was wrong came up to me, and she's like, "So," and you can tell she's really awkward. She's sitting there like, "So." <laughs> Funny story, there is another issue with your information. I'm like, oh, what? Are you a woman? <laughs> I'm like, no. <laughs> Haven't been ever. And it was funny because she's talking to the other lady. And the other lady's like, are you sure? Because, you know, some people are, or some people are like that these days. And, and the other lady's like, no, I'm pretty sure. And she's like, the other lady's like, well, maybe you should go ask. And the first lady's like, I don't want to get punched in the face. <laughs> and I'm like, no, 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 I'm not going to punch you in the face. <laughs> it must be the beard, you know, it's a little distracting. But I'm like, no, no, I, I'm a, I am a man. I identify as a male. <laughs> and she's like, okay, okay. And so they got that fixed up and way and everything. And uh, so... Our 15 minutes pass. I'm getting a little neurotic, as I usually do, and I start to feel itchy. I'm like, am I having an allergic reaction, or is my freaking brain just messing with me again? But anyway, the itchiness passed, so I'm like, okay, so it was just my brain playing with me. <sighs> so, for the rest of the day, I'm feeling a little sluggish. Again, see the first reaction, the first shot's reaction. I'm feeling a little sluggish. And I'm like, okay, well, I was going to record something, but nah, I don't really feel like it. And so I'm like, all right, then I crashed for the night. I woke up at like, I'd say about 430 in the morning and my head was killing me and my joints were killing me. And I'm like, 
everything hurts. I'm running a fever, very obviously running a fever because it's all hot and whatnot. And uh, cough, <laughs> and I get up just dying. <laughs> and it's being Saturday, you know. It's like I don't really want to. I don't really want to. I don't really have anything to do today, so I think I'll just lay in bed for a bit. And then I got up at my usual time, which is six, went into my office in here, and I crashed on the couch behind me. See that thing right there? <laughs> I can't. There. <laughs> that is the couch. And I crashed on that. Then the alarm, my, my daughter's alarm went off. She woke up. She came in, and she found me laying down, and she's like, you okay? <laughs> she was fine. She had a headache. And her headache kind of came in waves throughout the day. But she was fine otherwise. And her shoulder hurt. And then she tells and And I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. And she goes and takes her shower, as she does in the mornings. And uh, takes showers in the morning. That'll be a video topic for another day taking showers in the morning versus taking showers at night. But anyway, so she goes and takes her shower. I'm still dead on the couch. She co she finishes up her shower, comes back in the office, is like, are you sure you're okay? I'm like, I'm fine. <laughs> and then she's like, maybe you should just go back to bed. I'm like, yeah, probably. And then I climb up and I go into the kitchen. She's like, what are you doing? I need to make you breakfast. <laughs> so I start whipping up, or I start washing some dishes and, and put them aside and I make her breakfast and everything. And then we had um, Cookie Crisp. I picked it up Friday um, after the shot. I picked up some Cookie Crisp, you know. You know Celebrating. Uh, and we had that. And uh, I almost died just eating. But when we both finished our cereal, I'm like, I'm going back to bed now. And she's like, okay. And I spent almost the entire day in bed. I got text messages and stuff. I, I vaguely remember answering and whatnot. And uh, oh, I had some minor hallucinations, which was fun. And then my brother came in the, the room at one point. And I didn't know it was him at first. And I wake, I wake up and I'm like, oh, who's that in my room? Who's that? Who's there? My brother's like, I'm sorry, I got you some water. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> but I was just straight out of it, dead to the world. And then, Sunday morning, I woke up and it was like somebody flipped a switch and I was just perfect. I just felt so much better. It was like, wow, this is insane how much better I feel. I wasn't, I wasn't 100%. I shouldn't say I was perfect. But it was definitely a significant improvement from the day before. Whew. <laughs> but anyway, so that was my experience with the COVID shot both times. Uh, it was fun, interesting, and an experience. And, you know, I'm all about them experiences. But you know what? <laughs> Have you gotten your shots yet? Did you plan on getting them? Um, leave, the, leave your answers in the comments down below. But apart from all that, that's it. That's it for me for today. Thank you all so much. For joining me for this episode of my community show. <laughs> anyway, hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you did, go poke that like button for me. If you'd like to see more from me, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And of course, as always, you are more than welcome to leave a comment in the comment section down below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Oh, and if I can, if I can, you know all that jazz. And tune in next time for another video, another time. And until then, good night.